Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, we're going to talk about Apple's upcoming event on the 13th, October 13th. They have that annual announcements where they're going to introduce and show us the new iPhone 12 that is coming out and possibly they could be coming out with their new MacBook Pro and this will be the first generation where they are using their own Apple CPUs. They are done using Intel CPUs so this will be a major breakthrough for Apple if they announce the MacBook Pro and the iPhone on the upcoming event on the 13th. In this video I'm going to show you guys my position on Apple and then we're going to do a complete market analysis on apple i'm going to pull up the charts to see how that price might fluctuate over the next couple of weeks after the event on tuesday but this video is brought to you by webull sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit 100 and receive two free shares valued up to 1600 so you can literally sign up for webull and have the chance of winning two free shares of apple the link is down in the description but enough talking let's dive straight into the video Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on Apple ticker symbol AAPL. Apple is at $118 even at the recording of this video. They had a pretty good week up $4.09, 3.59%. I currently own 8.84 .8 shares worth of Apple, which is around $1,043.55. I had gotten to Apple before the stock split, which, which is the reason why I have so many shares of Apple. Now I have eight. My average cost is $117.43 and my total returns from Apple is I'm up $5.30. So yes, I was late as an investor getting in on Apple, but as late as I am, I am still up on Apple $5.30. I am a believer in this company, so I'm going to continue to invest into Apple over time to collect those sweet dividends and let this stock portfolio grow. If we take a look at that market cap, they have a two. <laughs> Ooh, they have a $2.03 trillion market cap. That is a lot of money with a dividend yield of 0.68%. So yes, this is Apple, man. They are the heavy hitters in the technology industry. So let's go, so let's go ahead and dive into Think or Swim and pull up the charts so we can do our complete market analysis. All right, so here we go. This is the Apple event I was telling you guys about where they're going to announce the iPhone 12 and possibly announce the new MacBook Pro that they should be coming out with. All right, so now let's pull up the charts. This is Think or Swim from TD Ameritrade. This is the four hour, 180 day chart. These lines are still holding true so far. They broke out of that channel and eventually it's coming back to the 180 day simple moving average. Now they could use this line. Let's zoom in a little bit more. They could use this line as a resistance if no good news come out from Apple uh, the event let's say they let's say there's no difference from the last generation iPhone to this generation iPhone which I doubt it, it will be but let's say that they have no good news from the Apple event on Tuesday this price point can use this 118 120 dollar um, price point as a resistance line and pull all the way back down to around 98 dollars if nothing works out good for Apple now, now if it breaks above and they have a great showing on Tuesday and they announced the MacBook Pro and the new iPhone and probably some new AirPods or something that's going to come out some great news I could see Apple going from around 118 dollars all the way up to this all resisting line resistance line of 128 dollars which is a profit of 8.8 percent that is an amazing swing trade right there 8.8 percent now if it breaks above that and the next resistant lines will be this old all-time high of 138 dollars and 55 cents now it drove up to 138 dollars and 55 cents because of the stock split news and then after the split, it kind of went up and then drove back down below the 180 day simple moving average. Now that is not good that Apple is currently trading below the 180 day simple moving average. So let's zoom in a little bit on the one hour and 20 day chart. Now that is the resistance line that we just drew. So it, it, it looks like it's peaking above. We will find out tomorrow when the market opens, but it is currently trading above the 180 day simple moving average on the one hour chart. But this signal right here, it is overbought 
on the RSI and usually when it's overbought on the RSI it's just going to trade sideways or sell off. So the last time that it was oversold on the one hour chart right here it took a major dip at market open. So Apple could take a major dip at market open and use the 180 day simple moving average on the one hour chart as a support until Tuesday when they should come out with some good news. Now let's zoom all the way out on the one year one day chart. Now it's not so good that Apple is so far away from the simple moving average on the yearly chart so that is that is a big concern let's go ahead and draw the uptrend from this wick right here it's going to touch another wick right there and one more so let's use this right here as the uptrend so this wick right here touch right there so it touched right here touch right there and it's touching right there so right now it's using this line as the resistance line and it's using the uptrend line as the support line now if apple do get rejected right here and somehow fall below this uptrend line i could see apple trading within this bar and this bar until it catches up back to its simple moving average so somewhere around in there so apple could trade sideways in between the 100 the 100 price range in the 117 118 price range until it eventually catches up and touches the simple moving average right now it's a bit far away from it so apple as a swing trade is you could take a good buy from the good news all the way up to 130 ish 129 dollars or you could wait for the pullback if it breaks below this flag pattern right there all the way back to its old resistance line of around 97 dollars if you do pull back to around 97 dollars a lot of investors are going to sweep in and buy up a bunch of those shares so that is two ways that you can play apple over the next couple of days after the event now this is a good indicator right here on the macd it is just about to cross let's zoom in just a little bit yes it's just about to cross if, now if it do cross you can see apple on the uptrend on the 130 dollars price point to around right there and they have an earnings call coming out on october 29th so expect on to october 29th for apple to make a big move whether it's going to pull back to the simple moving average or it's going to make new all-time highs so there we go guys let me know down in the comment section what are you most excited for for tuesday do you think they're going to announce the iphone 12 i knew they have a new model for it it's a more blockish square shape like the new ipad do you think they're going to announce anything extra other than just the iphone or they're going to announce the macbook pro the new macbook pro or do they have some type of new airpods that's coming out or earphones you never know what apple is working on over there in that lab so let's just stay tuned for tuesday to see what exactly is going to come out so if you don't want to miss out on any new news or videos that i'm going to put out on apple make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos also while you're down there in the comment section hit the thumbs up button because it helps out this channel more than you can even imagine but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace